हो नहीं तो ना हो और इसलिए हमने आपके लिए तैयार किया है ऐसा ब्रेकफास्ट आज की सुबह हमें आईटीसी राजपुतारा जयपुर में और बहुत ही शानदार सेटिंग में आराम से बैठ के ये स्पेशल आईटीसी ब्रेकफास्ट खा रहे थे वेरी गुड आइडिया है ब्यूटीफुल ब्रेकफास्ट भी है पहले आंख से खाइए अपना खाना तो देखिए इतने सारे कलर्स हैं और उसके बाद खाने को एंजॉय करिए आप आंख से खाना खाते हैं यस वेरी गुड यार क्या क्या कर सकते हैं ये देख मैं दीदी को एक टोस्ट की बाइट लेके चबा के दिखाऊं आप समझ गए ना मैं क्या कह रहा था इसकी बातें मत सुनिए सुबह सुबह भी थोड़ा टाइम लगता है इंजन गर्म होने में और दिमाग चलने में डोंट माइंड जी हाँ लेकिन कल हमने आपसे पूछा था कि कल रात को हमारी गाड़ी कहाँ रुकेगी और उसके कई नए और करेक्ट आंसर दिए लोग रहे और वही सवाल हम आपसे आज पूछ रहे हैं आज रात को हमारी गाड़ी जयपुर से निकल के कहाँ जाएगी तो आपने गैस करना है और बताना है और अगर आपने करेक्ट गैस किया तो कल हम आपका नाम अनाउंस करके आपके लिए तालियां बजाएंगे बिल्कुल ऐसे जैसे कि हम कल के करेक्ट आंसर्स वालों के लिए अभी तालियां बजा रहे हैं तो जो लोग जिन्होंने बिल्कुल करेक्टली गैस किया कि हम जयपुर में रुके थे ट्विटर पे हर्षवर्धन राठौर एंड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन दिस्ट्री ऑफ रोड ट्रिपिंग जो है एक व्यक्ति ने तीन प्लेटफॉर्म पे सेम गैस प्रथमेश बिचारे इंस्टाग्राम यूट्यूब फेसबुक लेकिन उन्हें सक्सेसफुली नेगोशिएट करके आगे कैसे बढ़ा जाए ये जिंदगी का चैलेंज होता है और कई लोग जो सक्सेसफुली मैनेज कर लेते हैं उन लोगों लोग अपने लिए एक नाम बना लेते हैं अपने लिए एक पहचान बना लेते हैं और ऐसे ही एक यंग लेडी से हम आज को आज बुलाएंगे जिनका नाम है विजय श्री शक्तावत गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल्सो नोन एज डायमंड तो आपके काफी सारे दोस्त देखें तो उनको बता दें कि वे विद द डायमंड तो विजय श्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर आई इंट्रोड्यूस आपने और क्या क्या किया है यू आर अ एक्सेलेंट पोलो प्लेयर नॉट एक्सेलेंट विद लर्निंग विद लर्निंग एंड प्रोग्रेसिंग व्हिच आई थिंक इज अ गुड थिंग तो राजस्थान में आम तौर पर मेन जो हैं ज्यादा पोलो खेलते हैं तो वेमेन बीइंग अ वुमन आप कैसे आए पोलो के अंदर एनी चैलेंजेस यू फेस्ड एंड क्या क्या होता है टू बी एबल टू बिकम अ सक्सेसफुल पोलो प्लेयर अम सो बेसिकली फॉर मी आई स्टार्टेड विद हॉर्सेस वेरी वेरी यंग माय फादर वाज इनटू हॉर्सेस एंड um he would go on safaris and i would completely latch on to him mm. and you know want to go on these trips um so my love for horses sort of started really early on and then from there uh once i moved to mayo um which is the mayo college girls school in ajmer which is where uh, riding sort of uh, started in a big way for me um and by the, my 12th grade i uh, captained the team there which was really lovely but i never played polo mm. it was always uh, other equestrian events that right. i was a part of and then fast forward many years uh upper school um i was luckily in a space in udaipur where uh, family friends and other brothers and cousins had started their own little um club hmm. and i used to go there to ride and eventually but, but, one uh, day per family ki taraf se support aapko mila ya thoda resistance tha kahin pe no um hundreds in terms of support right from family and friends and i'd always so always been riding throughout my childhood right mm. so um it was the support towards the sport or riding was a new for me it was something that was um, inculcated inculcated mm. and encouraged um quite a bit in the family and then my brothers sort of threw me in in a chucker once you know and they're just like just try and see how you feel about it right. and Sure shot. It was a bug that bit uh, quite hard. Very hard. Yeah. Besides, yeah. why would anybody say no to you? You have itna lamba danda with a mallet at the end, like yeah. it. Okay. Usually, when you do that, people give in to anything you want to ask. So, you also do a lot of things. You have made a very beautiful boat uh, design. Yes. In which we have gone. Tell us about it. How did you get this inspiration? And you are an interior designer by profession. An education, yes. Right. Um, so, Jagat Sagar, which is a part of uh, Jagat Collection. Um, in Udaipur. In Udaipur, uh, it's uh, the business that is run by my family, 
Um, and so Jagat Sagar was inspired by the idea of being able to be out there on the lake, look and enjoy what is around you, mm -hmm. but without um, having too much barricading or obstructing your view, you know. So the idea was that the boat's interiors, even though um, quite heavy in that sense, yeah, very ornate and beautiful. Very ornate. Handcrafted Jee. completely. Each and every piece of mirror over there is mm -hmm. cut individually by hand and applied by hand individually. Wow. That's serious attention to detail. Serious very attention. Which actually any message that you want to give out to, uh, to, to young ladies or to parents or anything to see like what they can uh, expect or give in terms of support? Of course, I think... Um, just for parents and families to sort of um, keep an open mind towards um, the various career paths that their children may want to um, take. Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll just be a little bit more pressure off the kids and they know that they've got the backing. So, you know, for any kid to go into the world um, feeling like you know, I don't just necessarily always have to do it all by my own. It's okay for me to take the little bit pressure off myself because I've got my family, I've got my friends um, just supporting me in the endeavor. You know, I can go and do it by myself, but it's always nice to have that little emotional cushion. You know, um, but I think India may not be able to support their parents, especially their daughters. If it happens, then who knows? I want to ask you about your sport and wind this up. Of course. Where do you come from the best polo players from the world? We're very hard-working Indians, but you can't take away, I think, just the natural flair the Argentinians have for the sport. And where do you come from the best polo players from the world? Well, I'm a Rajasthan kid through and through, so I'm going to go ham and support the state. Well done. Well, you'll always have our support for your career and for Polo. Thank you. So, well That's done. Thank kind. you so much for talking to us. Of course, it was an time. absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Rocky, you have noticed that your Mercedes Benz GLC, when I select dynamics, I change the modes of different modes. Do you have any changes in your life? I don't know how to do it. I'm truly enjoying this driving experience. I mean, one is just getting from point A to point B. And the other one is just pure enjoyment and luxury. So, I'm going to reach that state. So, what is the basic thing? The 9G Tronic, because you know, I feel good to understand the things. Look, if I use Dynamic Select and put it in Eco or Comfort, then the 9G Tronic, वो आपको ले जाएगा पूरे नाइन गियर चेंजेस से बहुत स्मूथ लेकिन अगर मैं इसको स्पोर्ट मोड में डालूंगा स्पोर्ट प्लस मोड में डालूंगा तो इतना सुपर एफिशिएंट हो जाता है कि आप बहुत फास्ट गियर चेंजेस कर सकते हो एंड वो गियर्स को स्किप भी कर देगा ताकि यू कैन गो शिफ्ट डाउन और शिफ्ट अप वेरी फास्ट अच्छा सो दैट्स आई वाज वंडरिंग सिटी के अंदर इतनी रिस्पोंसिव जो रिएक्शंस थे गाड़ी की बिल्कुल दे वर फैंटास्टिक है या तो भी आप हाईवे पे हो ये लो जी आपका स्पोर्ट मोड Hold us up speed Pagadlo, within legal limits and chalo. Lovely. Thoroughly enjoying it. Now, let's do one more job. Yes. Mercedes has such a feature designed that the traffic can regulate the outside because there is a lot of chaotic traffic here. Car is a helicopter. And what are the features of this? Just for driving. I am going to... एक तो आपको ये सारा दिखा चुका हूँ, then मैं आपको remind कर चुका हूँ, एक बार आपको बताया था कि आपको पूरा cruise control है, which you can set it, फिर आपको सिर्फ गाड़ी steer करनी है, and आपको जो है break break मारना है, and then in a city आप limit भी set कर सकते हो, ताकि आपकी गाड़ी जाएगी नहीं, आपको कभी पर्ची नहीं काटेगी। बिल्कुल। और these are, you know, the thing is ये practical features हैं। Yes. These are applicable practically, not just for the hype. Correct. जैसे जो आपका 9G टॉनिक है, that has really helped me in the cities. I'm just so happy with that performance of that day.